Johnny Youngbosch, you're here um, at Collector Mania. How are you enjoying your day so far? Uh, it's been great. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, look in front of you, you've done so much voice work in like Naruto and um, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, all this stuff. How do you find doing voice work and how is it different to actual acting? I guess the difference is I can show up in my PJs, <laughs> you know, and obviously if you're on camera, you, you're just, you're what you are, you know, unless you're uh, in a giant costume. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's acting, but it's, uh, it's a little, it's just different, you know. Is that something you do then? You turn up in your PJs? Sometimes I do. <laughs> well, speaking of acting in your PJs, the um, Power Rangers costumes could be kind of considered pajama-like. Yeah. Uh, so you got involved in Power Rangers. Why do you think it's been so successful that it's basically still going today and it's such a huge thing for children? Well, I, I mean, back then it was really huge and uh, it was, uh, there was nothing like it really, you know, for kids. Like it action-packed, it's colorful, you know, and giant robots and toys. And Saban had a lot of money, you know, so he could really push it. And uh, yeah, it just got big, and especially at that time. And uh, it's, just, it's continued, you know, as far as like the show. And uh, now that stuff is just retro, you know. People remember it back like, I don't know, like I would remember Saved by the Bell or something, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. They've announced they're rebooting Power Rangers. Um, what do you think they need to do different to make it kind of timely today, or do you not think they do need to change it at all? I mean, it depends on what, what they're wanting to do. I mean, are they going to make it for kids? You know, are they going to make it for the, uh, the audience that grew up with it? You know, are they going to use Mighty Morphin? You know, like, in my mind, I would think they would use Mighty Morphin because that was the first one, and they would probably uh, do it for kids. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a bad idea to throw some of the, like us in there as cameos, obviously, because we don't look like high school kids anymore. But, uh, you know, just to, pe just to uh, please the fans that knew the show, you know, so that there'd be that, you know. Yeah. connection and everybody be happy but I really don't know what they're gonna do with it so. Lionsgate are actually the company involved in doing it they've worked on Divergent and Twilight things like that so they they've kind of hinted they might be targeting the kind of young adult audience right. do you think it'd work for that sort of audience <laughs> I, I think so yeah I mean I, Power Rangers has always been a kids show you know um, but people still watch it from all ages you know and uh, especially ones when you grew up on it some of those people still watch it um, I think uh, I can't imagine Saban would do anything that's not good, that he can't sell toys though for you know because that's I mean he's got to make money off of it um, and uh, I can't imagine if he were to do Power Rangers that there would be that adults would buy the toys unless there was a reason you know there's a good enough reason just thinking then about the casting you said you'd love to return as a cameo how about a bigger role could you play a father of one of the high schoolers these days I would love to be a floating head I would like to be Zordon just in the thing the view the viewing level. Rangers, observe the viewing globe. Adam's dead, but uh, his floating head's there. But uh, just thinking then about dream casting. I've heard names rumored. People like Anton Yelchin, um, Garrett Hedlund. Is there anyone you'd like to see in a Power Rangers movie, particularly possibly playing a Black Ranger? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it, uh, I'd like to see an Asian kid in there, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I, I, I haven't really thought about it too much. Um, just not Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, that note to producers there, not to cast Justin Bieber. <laughs> Thanks very much, I'll let you go on with your day, thank you so much for speaking to us.